Hello everyone! Today I'll be doing an artist review from the Samsung Tab S7 FE. I have been using this tablet to draw for more or less a month. I tested a few different art apps during this time, and the one that I'm using in this video is Infinite Painter. That's just the one I felt more comfortable with but I found that the way that the tablet works is more or less the same for every app, so I'll be focusing on these aspects of it, and I'll also try to cover some pros and cons in comparison to using a graphic table on a computer, since that's what I had been using for a while before I bought this tablet. The drawing I'm making today is a witchy version of Rowberry, she's a character of one of my favorite games, and if you would like to see more of my art, you can head over to my Instagram to find some more. So, I will start with my impressions of the tablet as a whole. I chose this model because it has a really big screen and it was more affordable than the S7 Plus. I first thought about getting an iPad, but the price difference here in my country is really big and I've always liked Samsung products. I found that this size of screen makes it really comfortable to draw, especially with the matte screen protector. The pen is also really comfortable to use. I think it may be a bit too small if you have a bigger hand, but for me it's alright. A few of the downsides I found that are not related to drawing is that Samsung doesn't sell replacement nibs for the pen, or at least I didn't find any. I've seen that many people manage to use a Wacom One nibs on this pen, but since I haven't tried it yet, I can't say for sure if it works or not, but I do hope Samsung starts selling them soon, because if you're using this tablet to draw, the nibs can run out very quickly. For things related directly to art, I have to say that it's worth to try a few different drawing apps before settling for one, as it can really impact your final result. On my computer, I've always used Clip Studio Paint, which is a great app, but since I don't want to pay for a subscription on the Android version, I decided to use Infinite Painter. I find it really easy to use, it has a small learning curve until you find all the tools you may need, but it's definitely easier than learning how to use a computer program. One of the things that have really bothered me a lot on every app I tried is that I would sometimes use the go back feature and erase whatever part I was drawing, even after disabling the use of fingers on the app, which is really annoying and can really mess up with your pace. And while many apps have many resources, none of them seems to be as complete as one you could use on your computer. I didn't notice any major delay response while drawing, even when using a bigger resolution, but I believe it could appear if you use too many layers at once in your file. That said, something that I really like about using the tablet for drawing is that it's really portable, it gave me a lot more of freedom to draw anywhere and anytime, and I have been drawing much more than I was before. It's also a lot easier to just pick up my tablet and starting to draw than it is to set up my computer and the Wacom tablet, which has been really nice for my ADHD. I feel like I should mention that getting a tablet is much more affordable than buying a new computer and a graphic table, so if you don't have a good computer or notebook that you can use to draw, looking for this tablet could be really good and helpful as you can use it not only to draw, but also for many other things. If you already have a good computer and want to save up some money, then maybe looking to graphic tablets could be more affordable. I would absolutely recommend this model if you are searching for a tablet to use for art. That said, it is an investment and sometimes it's good to look at your options to find something that really suits your needs. I will not be talking about the price range of this product, as not only I got it on a sale, but also my country has some pretty messed up pricings for electronics. So if you're looking for that info, 
a quick Google research will help you more than me. I hope you guys have liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon. Bye!